your creative photography eye. We're in London, hint, hint. Today we're gonna do something like super fun that I recommend everyone should do. It's, <coughs> sorry, this is the wine that we just drink. If you're in a city and you want to like train your creative photography eye, I recommend you go around the city and just critique and like just take time to look at all the food pictures that are around and there are gonna be many you don't see them but you will and then just take your time to critique all of them and some you will like some you won't like but generally speaking that's top-notch work from top photographers so you are gonna learn how to read an image how to work with light how to use composition how images are used in real life which is very important for your career like when you're gonna shoot so now we have some pizza right there we have some greek and we have an again some italian restaurant <laughs> so we're gonna go and give a lot of shit to all the pictures that we see and critique them for you and uh, analyze them let's go i like the like colors that and there is a lot going on that's i think probably the part that's making me the most uneasy is the fact that it's it feels crammed it feels like they wanted to promote their whole menu in one shot and I get the vibe you know it's like lively and busy and everyone is eating personally I think the light is a little bit flat it doesn't give me like real Greek vibe um, but overall it's a decent very decent image I also don't like the packaging it's like everything is like why is there takeout stuff on a, I don't know that confuses me a little bit I guess and the colors look a little like I think the printing wasn't done very well like the colors look a little bit artificial and fake so I give it a 7 out of 10 so on the other side of the billboard um, I'm gonna critique this one I think this one can be improved quite a bit I think the light is a little bit flat like I don't know but I don't I feel like yeah there isn't much contrast here it's not very poppy we want it to pop a little bit more the colors are also weird i think that's due that might be due to the printing and not the actual photo but we don't know that it, they just look a little bit artificial uh you can see the reflection of the light of the restaurant here like this is the reflection of the ceiling light here 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 here, here everywhere and that's an easy lightroom fix so i'm thinking the photographer should have done that i would have done that um and generally speaking it's just a little bit flat uh, of an image so i actually give this six out of ten i'm sorry Ooh. But do you have anything positive to say? Oh, I mean positive to say. Uh, I mean, yeah, the styling is pretty right. Like, I really like this sprig of parsley. Uh, it really does very well with the contrast with the tomatoes here. Also, the colors, the styling on this bowl is really nice. Like, you can see the, the real texture of the hummus or whatever this is. Um, the sprinkling on this on the fries looks nice. So, I would say the food styling is really yummy so like I do want to eat it um, and yeah I like okay so something else I like is the balance of shapes and colors so I like that the three red plates are put in a triangle here the two small balls are here and the two long plates are also opposite each other so I think the plates were arranged really well so that's why six out of ten <laughs> Okay, come, because this one I really like, so I want to go back for it. I'm a harsh teacher, but this one... I think this is a really, really good image. So you can already see from that Greek restaurant to this, how the quality jumps massively. Like, probably the budget is also higher, because this is a big brand in the UK, like they have multiple restaurants, while maybe the Greek place is like more like a family-run place. So you can already tell the budgets by looking at the quality of the pictures. So here, I really, really like the color contrast between the blue and the warm yellow orange tones and this pop of green really like gives it some pizzazz I really like that actually 
and also I really like the fact that it looks very realistic in the sense that if you cut a slice like if you cut pizza on a board you will have all of the crumbs you will have this mess the jalapeno and the sauce really also complementary color so i really like the color palette in this image i think it's done really well i really 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 like the light it's like this is i i guess it's my personal preference and personal style the fact that the shadows are really dark and the highlights are like there's a lot of contrast so you can really see the texture in the pizza and it's really popping and i think it's done really well because pizza is flat so you really want to bring out the texture and by doing uh, by putting the light low close to the surface you really bring out the texture and that's why like the the basil leaves really pop there's four of them but then with the with this one you make five and with the peppers it's like a very nice uneven you know the rule of odds in composition odd number of green spots i think that's really well done the one thing that i would do better that i would improve in this photo is maybe the food styling in the sense that the pizza does look yummy mamma mia i like as an italian i really want to eat it i think it does look really yummy the colors i think it could be less cooked maybe to bring out some of the colors it looks like everything is a little bit melted you can't really tell the different elements from each other unless you're really close to it but overall i give this image a nine, a nine solid nine out of ten well done zizi bravi <laughs> Aspetta, aspetta. So you want me to critique this? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna destroy. Like we appreciate that some brands and smaller restaurants and startups don't have the big budgets to hire, you know, top-notch photographer. <clears throat> so, you know, if uh, you're just starting out, these are not bad photos per se. They do their job, you know, like they really highlight the yumminess of the food. Yes, there is space for improvements, but also, you know, it's a great, it's a good starting point. So, you know, we've been harsh for the show and for the gram, but also we appreciate that smaller restaurants have smaller budgets. So maybe, you know, this is great for them. And then when they grow, they can hire us, which <laughs> and then get better photos. I am going to have to destroy it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's look at it. I mean, okay, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be gentle. Okay, the food styling is nice. Let's start with the good things. <laughs> so the food styling is really nice. I, it actually looks really, really appetizing. I really love the styling on the hummus. Like it, the, the shine on the olives is beautiful. Um, just nice mix of like colors and veg and things and stuff. So the styling and this is very authentic as well. I guess it's more like a family, family run place. So I think the styling is mwah. So, okay, I mean, the plate itself is well lit. It's got, again, the shine on the olives is nice, the shine on here, so the highlights are really lovely. What I don't particularly love is the rest. Like, you get, like, there's, I give the whole shoot maybe like a six out of 10, just because I'm generous. I'm a very harsh teacher. I know, what would you give it? Four. Four, mamma mia, you're even harsher than me, Laura, for sure. <laughs> Oh la la. <laughs> okay, so then not not that harsh. Like this plate, mm, eh. I am glad they put this as you know the background and stuff. Sorry, Tas. We can do so much better. Hire us. <laughs> it might be photoshopped a little bit. It's like these two apples look exactly like these two apples, just obviously mirrored. The zoom in, zoom in. Let's have a look. If that's true like they look exactly the same just mirrored and i don't like that i would have preferred if they were four different slices of apple because that looks too symmetric and not very realistic although still great shot nine out of ten <laughs> <laughs> what you oh, looking at all this food made me hungry um but uh, ooh, ooh, squirrel okay this one this one is really good i really love this shot that's where i'll be <laughs> so here we are okay actually i really 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 like this shot oh the colors are so stunning 
Oh, and I really love, I think, okay, I, I might recognize this style, but anywho, I really, what I really, really like about this is the very shallow depth of field and how dreamy this looks. And I also really, really love the vignette effect. It's like this cocktail is so in your face because the light is really making the color of the drink pop. And this is the brightest... Oh, my hair spot in the image and everything else is just like dark and blurry oh yes please stunning shot this is not very like a shot like this must have taken I don't know two minutes five minutes tops because this is all generally when you shoot for like cocktail bars and stuff the you know bartender makes you the drink <laughs> plops it on set and you like click so the way I would have shot this is it looks like the light is coming from here um, or actually no the shadow is here so the light is coming from here and also actually you can see it very well from the rub rhubarb the rhubarb because the highlight is here and the shadow is here. So the light is coming from here, is popping the drink, and the photographer, I assume, put, uh, uh, like, highlighted the vignette effect in post. Stunning, I love it. Mwah. Maybe we should go have one. <laughs> but then, no, but oh, I'm hungry, please, let's go. I mean, like, they really get their attention straight away. Like, when you pass this store. Oh, well, like, it's massive. It's massive. <laughs> yeah, you can put about 10,000 Julias on that photo. <laughs> I'm pretty much as big as a bottle. Do I come flat? Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Perfect. But critic wise, Lauretta, what do you think? Okay, critic wise. My personal taste is like this, that I like to have some breathing space in the sense that I really believe that less is more and I like to have some space. For the bombers. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. I like to have some space. Yeah, I really like to have some space because so like... So do you think this is too crammed together? Yeah, for my taste. Mm -hmm. But maybe for here it works, but like for my taste I like more space. Mm, I see. I think... My, I have a, a slightly different opinion in the sense that I also know the brand and they're a Japanese, obviously, duh, <laughs> but um, very minimalistic style, which yeah. I think, and very, like, if you can see, very graphic, you know, yeah. there's lots of squares, lots of lines, yeah. lots of shape, everything is tidy. And I think that's their trying their to style. mimic the Japanese style of minimalism and stuff. What I per and while keeping it a little bit messy with this and like I actually really like the spill there because it's like yes it's all minimalistic and clean and stuff but then they put stuff like that which is nice. What I personal I also I really like the food styling. I think it's like stunning. Everything looks like really great and fresh and tidy. So the food styling was done really well. What I don't particularly like is this, actually. Yeah. I think it's really staged in the sense that I yeah. appreciate some mess. But, but this is like clearly put there. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's very staged. So it doesn't look very realistic. But regardless of that, uh, I give it uh, how much? What's High. High score. High score. Nine. Like really high. I think it's better than the like some other ones we have seen yeah. so far. They're also a massive brand, yeah. which means they have big budgets and, you know, yes. they can afford to hire great photographers yeah. and stylists. There's a whole team behind this, probably. I give it uh, how much? What's the score? High score. Nine. Like really high. I think it's better than the like some other ones we have seen yeah. so far. They're also a massive brand, yeah. which means they have big budgets and, you know, yes. they can afford to hire great photographers yeah. and stylists. There's a whole team behind this, probably. Bandit. Yes, I want some miso soup. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Not <laughs> anybody. No Next miso time. soup, but coffee. Mm. Next time. Ah, but you're drinking. Yeah, hey, no, I'm drinking. Do you want one? It's that time of the day. Yeah, let's go. 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 Let's
Okay, I give this an 8 out of 10. Ah, uh, there's some reflection. So, I like the vibe here. I think it's pretty nice. Um, but... Oh, perfetto, Lauretta. Yeah, less, less yes, reflection. Uh, you know your light and how to avoid reflection. Okay, my personal opinion, I think I like the general vibe. I think it's a bit dull in terms of light. Uh, I think the light is coming from the wrong direction and you can tell by looking at this. It means the light is coming from here and the photographer is shooting here. And as we all know, light should never come from behind the camera. Yeah, because most likely some kind of portrait photographer have done it. <laughs> <laughs> lol no but mostly because as you can see i think like the texture is really like it's killing uh, all the texture in this like you can't see it's not three-dimensional it's pretty flat because it's got no shadows well the shadows here so actually but it makes no sense maybe there's two lights like one yeah it's, but at least it's a there's a story and it gives like yes. some kind of um emotion yeah that's the part i like that's the part i like the storytelling is good the composition is good uh the thing i would have done differently is just the light but everything else is okay yeah maybe that's it's why a, a personal creative choice as well absolutely so you want me to be like one of those uh okay okay, okay documentary people who's like oh here we are in the beautiful london city we're trying to get home but we're we keep getting distracted by all of the food uh, photos that we see around. So we're trying to get to St. Paul's to get the central line home, but we can't help ourselves. So I guess there's going to be two parts of this video because... Or more. Okay. Or more. Or more, or more. Sure, sure. Uh, see, sí. so yeah, just more fun for you, I guess. Yes. <laughs> You're so... welcome. Subscribe if oh, you like subscribe. this kind of stuff, and <laughs> we're gonna keep on going. Maybe, maybe not. We we'll never yeah. know. <laughs> Depends on how bad or good the photos are, I guess. <laughs>